all sweet storm museum here aka derica thank you guys so much for coming to hang out with me today today's speed build is a budget starter starter home so i stuck with the budget that you get with two sims which is twenty two thousand simoleons and the two sims in question you guys have seen already ashley and diamond from my courthouse wedding venue video and the um vacate the cabin vacation rental speed build videos so if you guys have not seen those videos i will make sure to link them in the description um but they have their starter home in oasis springs on the sand trap flat lot um i think this lot is a 30 by 20 I could be wrong, but I do think it's 30 by 20. And I went with a three bedrooms and one bath. There's a primary bedroom, a, a nursery, and an office space. Um, they do not have any um, object babies cooking at the moment, but they are manifesting, okay? So I will say that is the one thing that I put the funds to that they didn't actually need was, you know, a nursery. But, you know, they're manifesting. They're going to have that object baby soon. <laughs> um i was inspired to go ahead and build them something because i was just thinking about the um love struck pack and like all the options for romance and relationships that that is going to bring so i just felt like you know hey let's visit them again give them their own home and see if i'll i'll, I'll likely do some gameplay with them when that pack does come out speaking of i am very much excited for it <laughs> I love the dances in the video I mean in the uh trailer that we got with it and the uh build and buy objects that I've been able to see in the videos really make me excited like hello I really hope we do get round pools I love the um the look of the pit house little situation I'm hoping to be able to build something very ridiculous and gorgeous up there <laughs> and um i cannot wait to see what the dating app is like in gameplay wise um i know i'll definitely be on the gallery looking for some sims to create some homes with especially some singles that can do some dating i don't know about how like the poly situation is gonna work out but i am definitely very excited for it um so july is a cool month for me because you know hello sims giving me gifts <laughs> and i say they're giving me gifts because my birthday is in july my birthday is actually coming up on the 9th and i plan to do a birthday stream i don't think i'll actually be able to do it on my actual birthday because we are expecting a potential hurricane in my area so i think i'll have to wait until the weekend you know god willing we don't have any like you know power outages and whatnot um, but anyway, back to, um, the bill just for a minute, I am laying out, uh, I just laid out the kitchen uh, a little bit. I do switch it up a little bit and I, um, wanted to mention that I kept everything really simple when it came to the colors for this home. I really took the starter situation pretty literal. So I didn't get too fancy with the wallpaper and everything. They're pretty plain. I just imagine that. They just got married. They just got back from their honeymoon. So they're finally actually settling into their new home, but they haven't put any, um, you know, fancy touches on it yet. The only thing that they did go ahead and go all out for, which is, uh, uh, was for the nursery. So the wallpaper in the nursery is a little bit fun and cutesy, you know, for the object baby that they will have. <laughs> um but back to love struck uh, how are you guys feeling about it how do you guys like the trailer the sneak peeks we got i personally cannot wait until we d until they do the um gameplay i hope it's actually alive for real for real this time because i feel like last time it was pre-recorded i don't know <laughs> but i am very excited to see what we get with this new pack i love the sims they get my coin every time they've been getting my coin since i was a child <laughs> so i will um definitely be very i'm definitely very excited to see what we get here um and uh, back to the build again i guess for a second um i'm choosing out the color swatches i do believe I, I did change the flooring to a darker color um just for a little bit more contrast because i did end up going with a uh, white wallpaper with a uh, darker brown border so i really i really ended up liking how that um balanced out 
out between the uh, flooring and the actual wallpaper that I chose. And you guys can see me choosing uh, the, the dining set here. Um, I, I really was liking how all these lighter colors were just coming together. So I started with it and just kept going with it. It all came together uh, like I mentioned when I changed the flooring to a darker color. But I really had a lot of fun with this build. I usually try. I usually am like choosing more quirky like um, maybe quirky is not the right word I use a lot of color in my build so to be um, a bit more neutral here was strange for me but I actually like how it turned out so there was a lot more white than I would typically use but I really did um enjoy it and I think it kind of made sense for you know the idea that I had in my mind and that this was a starter home and they hadn't put too much of their own personal touches into the space just yet and in that um it, because it's starter they're they're young they're young and turnt they don't have everything that they need uh just yet but they are young um professionals ashley is a um uh, music producer and uh, diamond is an interior decorator so they are you know fairly new into their careers low level in their career so they have a little bit of ways before they have the money that they need to have everything in their home um, so for example i did not have enough money for a tv i did not have enough money for um a computer either so the office is pretty bare honestly just a desk and a lamp and some plants <laughs> but they do have everything they need to grow into this home and I really like that um I went with three bedrooms because honestly it is a starter but if they, really they would only need to add like a tv and um a computer and this home is complete and they could have um you know one kid in another room or they could have two kids in one room and keep that office you know keep that office space as you know like a workspace uh, um study space for you know even the kids um um I did want to have a um I think it's called the uh, media production station or whatever it's the object you need uh to do uh create a uh, records in the game but it was 1500 simoleons i believe and we just could not afford that for and, and you know not sacrifice on style so i do think i will well we'll add that in the future <laughs> i really wanted to cheat so bad but i really wanted to stick to the budget at the same time so i really stuck to the budget <laughs> I tried to be a little bit more creative in this build like I did do like the two um um coffee tables there I do end up changing it for a cheaper um circle coffee t uh, coffee table and I was creative in how I did the sinks in the bathroom so I did um where it's like double sinks and then there's like a counter space in the middle of the sink so I and I made that counter space with um two shelves um I've been watch I've been like looking at you know floor plans and you know just home um decor on Pinterest a lot more so that's been helping me you know like do a little bit more with how I build um in the sims um I really because I I normally build like every household I play in I will build a uh, build a space for them so I, I do download lots by other people but it's usually for like restaurants and you know community lots and things like that but their homes I always build something in so I'm excited to see what I can do you know as I learn more you know about you know design and um uh getting creative with the in-game objects um so I am laying out the objects in the bedroom the bedroom is really simple I just had two nightstands the bed a dresser and the uh little single armchair from tiny living i believe or maybe even it may be nifty knitting that that um 
that the chair that I end up using is from. But either way, I really like the colors in here. Like they were, they were just a lot of fun to me. I really wish I was able to get um some table lamps for the uh tables that I put on either side of the bed, but I was not able to um work that in there. I honestly was struggling so bad to stick to the 22,000 simoleons because usually when I play, I'm like, what budget? Money's no object. I have cheats. <laughs> Um, but it was really cool to see what I could come out with because, um, I was just thinking about, you know, in comparison to the, uh, starter homes that we get with the actual game where there's very limited objects and stuff. And I do understand why they limit the, um, object count on a lot, but you can really do so much with the starter funds and, you know, have a little, a little coin at the end of the build, which honestly, I don't think I left them 50 simoleons. <laughs> they have enough to make one meal, <laughs> but I did play with them a little bit. Uh, so I, I did, I did get them a little bit more money. So they're just not like struggling when I leave this household. Um, but this save is actually, um, I only build in this save and, uh, play test in this save. So I don't really get to see the Sims in here progress as I would in my normal saves, but I would be very interested to see if there was like a neighborhood story <laughs> update that, uh, happens with, uh, this uh, household while I'm working on another the build and play testing with another household uh but anyways i am still laying out though the uh base what, what shall i say the foundation for this build i'm just laying out the uh bare minimums of what of what every room needs before i uh go back in and tweak and delete things so that I can afford um, the look that I was going for. We are into the nursery. I honestly spent a little bit too much time in the nursery. <laughs> I shrunk the build down just a little bit to help me out with uh, funds and so the nursery was a little bit tighter than I was originally aiming for but I think it worked out really nicely. I only had a changing table, a crib, a rocking chair and one toy in there if there were um I wanted to do, I couldn't find that big old giraffe that I usually put in, in there but that cute little teddy bear worked out just fine um oh you see me delete the uh, media production table I think it was like 1500 simoleons I think so that saved us a lot of money, but I will say that, um, the decor in here, I think worked out really well. I did try to focus on keeping a lot of greenery in here, just a lot of plant, uh, plant life and make sure I kept the spaces bright so that it didn't feel like a small build. And honestly, I think that these rooms are actually bigger than I usually do. Like normally I was try to fit in, uh, sims into the tightest spaces <laughs> just fill up a room so i did like that about that build uh, the more i make uh these type of videos you know to put on my channel the more i i think i branch out in my personal gameplay and i really enjoy that because i love to play the sims and anytime i find a new way to enjoy the game i am all for it <laughs> i actually got sims for um from my husband um, in college, like he, uh, pre-ordered, pre-ordered, um, Sims 4 for me for my birthday. <laughs> um, but anyway, I don't know what just made me think about that, but anyways, I am just adding a little bit of clutter in the kitchen. Normally I like to add a whole bunch of stuff, my soap dispensers and towel racks and seasonings and knives and everything, but I didn't add any of that. I only put in the, uh, coffee table and then that little, um, coffee, um, coffee bag holder the, um I don't know what coffee comes in I'm just gonna say tea bag holder <laughs> that little thing there um I usually hate having coffee makers because they just make coffee all the time when I told you to go to bed three times already <laughs> but I just I just I just kept it in there for the um aesthetic um, I am choosing curtains in the living room right now. I end up going with base game curtains, but for everywhere else, I think I use the, um, 
you y'all know that really cheap curtain from Eco Lifestyle. I think it's like sixty some lens, and it looks really really nice. I love that curtain, and it worked out in this budget build because I needed the curtain for the style, but I could not afford anything that I actually wanted. I like the uh curtains from. I think my favorite curtains are the ones from the um my wedding stories, uh game pack, but we are adding out more objects i i really tried to um keep as many of the baby objects that i could but i did end up eating i mean deleting <laughs> that um portable crib that i placed and i did end up adding a high chair i kind of forgot about a high chair until towards the end of the build but i'm so glad that i added it in because when they have their cute little baby it's gonna be just perfect in this household right now i'm working in here on the landscaping um i didn't do too much with the landscaping and i think that that was okay because we are in oasis springs and it's you know pretty uh deserty in this area um so i just put grasses some cheap daisies and uh those taller uh grass pieces i did end up having to delete some some stuff in the end but i think what we have you know in the front yard and the back is you know just enough to, to you know to make it look um natural i should say um the backyard is really um the only thing in the backyard is a tree those little daisies and an outdoor garbage can um we are back here i think we are getting like closer to the end of the video so this is when i was just going in and rearranging and deleting things and you know changing out things for cheaper items just to um make this budget really really work um i think this um rocking chair here it does work with it being pushed all the way back um in the build i like having rocking chairs in builds with kids um i wish you could like play with the kids a little bit more while you're sitting in a rocker but you you know <laughs> they gave us what they gave us but i really love sitting in them because the sims always sit there and just rock and look like so relaxed to me <laughs> just another cute thing that i enjoy about this game and as you guys can see i'm putting this green rug in here i just felt like that was the perfect little pop of color and then the flowers just kind of tie into the flowers on the wallpaper um but anyway we are back in the bathroom and we are creating that little middle middle counter space um that i mentioned uh i because i deleted had to delete one counter and i just really don't like how it looks with the counter being so close i just thought that was um a fun way to elevate the space if you will <laughs> i am i did add little uh decor around i just was able to add one robe those robes are 80 simoleons i felt like that's kind of ridiculous but you know anywho i added um the little basket of like lotions and soaps and some towels and everything just to kind of make it a little bit more you know realistic um for uh for our cute little couple here um i did use the same countertops that i use in the kitchen and i do change this um wallpaper to uh the tile from growing together i really do love that tile i'm always using that one or the one from home chef hustle <laughs> home chef hustle was really a good stuff pack for me um what well, is this stuff pack or game pack yeah no yeah stuff pack um but i am to um still just really just kind of putting fine finishing touches on it i knew i had to um at this point i really knew i had to finish up the decor in the bathroom and furnish the last space which is the office space so i really had to do a lot of tweaking at this point i think you'll even see me delete a light at one point so that i can give 50 simoleons back like it really was a struggle i see why people like do so many like budget build challenges because it is a lot you know it's a little bit more challenging than you would think <laughs> um but y'all see me um working on finding the right wallpaper for this room and i landed on this one i did also use that wallpaper in the kitchen as a backsplash um i just used the um white one 
And I had to replace that basket because, you know, sometimes when you alt place things um, and you make changes in those areas, the items will go into the household inventory for for whatever reason. <laughs> um, but y'all see me changing up the uh, kitchen space. I, I ended up deleting that column just because I couldn't find a brown that I liked to match the um, trimming that we have in that space. So I went ahead and deleted that and made that wall match. Um, I th I've just made the wallpaper the same for the rest of that wall and then on the wall that the stove is on I use I changed that tile to the tile from the um, growing together expansion pack I did um, add that little high chair in the end I really like the uh, more modern looking one but for some reason I really felt like the uh, wooden one that we get in base game worked out best here um, for this wall space I ended up using the um, shelving from eco Life lifestyle eco lifestyle has some really good pieces that are cheap <laughs> so if i start overusing that pack please don't blame me i can't help it <laughs> And we are now working on the office space, which is the last room of the build, which means we are just about at the end of the video. So thank you guys so much for coming to hang out with me. I really appreciate the support. I hope you guys enjoyed the screenshots at the end of the video. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a cute little comment. Until then, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.